Hey, this is Joe from Personas. I got a quick one for you today, but if you didn't know about this little setting, your head's gonna go like mine did when I just found out about it from one of our users. So here's the way MIDI works, at least the way it has worked my entire life, when I've got some notes like this that are just nice long notes, playing whole notes, it sounds like this. Okay, But if I start playback here in the middle of those notes, or even here just after the beginning of those notes, and I hit play, what happens? I don't hear sound until we get to the next start of a note, right? That very beginning of the MIDI note, if we look in the editor, this start point here is what tells the instrument to play the sound. So if I start even just milliseconds after that start, like if we go here, we get no sound. Well, there was something there. If we go here, we get no sound. There's notes there, but I won't hear them unless I put the playback before the notes so that the notes will be triggered. This is just the way MIDI has always worked for me, and I've thought... I've, I've never thought there was even a solution to it, didn't think of it as a problem. I just, it was a little bit of an annoying thing. If I wanted to start recording here or start my, you know, pre-roll up here, I realized, well, let me just go back a little bit farther so I can get before those notes so I hear them as I'm getting ready to punch in, for example. Apparently, thank you to the user who told me about this, you can make it not work this way. It's really simple. So open up Preferences in Studio One, go to Advanced, and go to the MIDI tab. And there's this setting, I don't know when it was added to Studio One, probably been there the whole time and I just never noticed it. It's called Chase Long Notes. I didn't know what that meant. Guess what that does? I apply it, I hit OK. I click here in the middle of these long MIDI notes and guess what happens? It starts playing them, just like you would expect them to do. So. As you can see, especially if you've got like, I've had songs where I've, I'm playing an, a, an octave, like a low, just G octave, and it just holds out for the entire song. And I'd be working on the song, the start note was way back at the beginning of the session, and if I'm working on the second chorus, I'm working and working and working, and I'm never actually hearing that part that I have being held out for the entire song, that kind of low, sort of drony ambient thing that makes the song sound a little bit cooler. And I don't realize it until I go back and start playback from the very beginning of the song. The only way around it that I found was to do something like this, to right click on the track and to transform it to an audio track, which is a really handy feature inside Studio One. It allows me to take what's essentially a MIDI instrument track and turn it into a plain old audio file, which means it'll play from wherever I start playback. But if I decide, oh, you know what, I played that note wrong, I need to go change it, I have to do this process, transform it back to an instrument track, change the MIDI information, and then render it back into an audio file. It's just, it's more hassle than it's worth when all you wanted to do was just be able to hear the notes in the middle of that whole note. So instead of doing this over and over, which I had a project where I did this over and over because I didn't know about this, just go to Preferences, Advanced, MIDI, click the checkbox next to Chase Long Notes, and thank me later. All right, thanks for watching. Appreciate you. See you in the next one.